Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you're watching Vector In today's video, we will talk about .NET MAUI, the installation process and building our first MAUI app. This is a part of the ongoing MAUI series, uh, which we um, left off uh, for quite some time. Uh, apologies for that. But uh, today we will talk about how to install MAUI and how to uh, build our very own first MAUI application in Visual Studio. So first and foremost, uh, let's talk about uh, the installation process. So developing native cross-platform .NET MAUI platform applications requires Win Visual Studio 2022 17.12 or greater, or the latest Visual Studio code with .NET MAUI extensions. Uh, to create a .NET MAUI app, uh, you will need to download the latest version of Visual Studio. Um, either install Visual Studio or modify it uh, if it is already installed by go opening this Visual Studio installer and uh, clicking on this modify button. And you will soon see uh, the um, workloads that are uh, installed. Uh, on your machine where you can see this checkbox which means it is installed so right now i have asp.net and um, .net desktop windows app and so on so i will go ahead and select .net maui platform app and here you can see uh, selecting that it will include all these uh, packages and some of the optional packages like android sdk intellisense code and so on and also under the individual components you have live share and some of the extensions so uh, here you will have to select modify and um, say yes and it this will start the installation process so um, here you can see uh, on the visual studio installer uh, we have successfully downloaded and installed it installed the maui ex uh, workload and now next we will start by building our first dotnet maui app and to do that uh, let me close this and launch uh, visual studio so here uh, in the start window let's click on create a new project to create our uh, maui project and in the create a new project window let's select maui in uh, all project types over here and uh, then select the dotnet maui app template and click on the next button in this configuration uh, of your of our new project um, we will name our project but for me i will leave it as is and you can also select the suitable location for it and then click on next in this additional window uh, you can choose the long term support framework for me it is .net 8.0 and i will click on the create button we'll wait for the project to be created and its dependencies to be restored so now that our project is uh, restored and loaded, let's go ahead and click on this Windows machine. And um, if you have uh, the Android emulator or other uh, apps uh, like iOS or uh, any other platform, you can select the device uh, and uh, or the emulator and click on this play or run button to run this program on the uh, re relevant platform. There are platform specific codes and also uh, platform specific configurations here which we will uh, deep dive in the next video but for now i will just go ahead and click on uh, this uh, run button to run this application on windows so there you go guys uh, we have our simple uh, first build of our dotnet maui application ready and here you can see this is a boilerplate code uh, which comes when you create a new project in maui which has this button where when you click on it it will uh, increase the counter of the number of times you have clicked on that button so this is a simple uh, application and in the next video uh, we will walk through how to create a notes application and we will do it step by step and uh, talk about all the uh, solution explorer items and all the dependency injections bindings and so on so stay tuned for more videos till then uh, bye bye and also make sure uh, please uh, hit the like share and subscribe button uh, this will motivate me to ma make more such videos and uh, till then bye bye